Hey Wicked Army, Wicked here and welcome to the first top 5 episode on my channel for my top 5 series and we'll be for focusing on the best Town Online attack strategies in Clan Wars and this is pretty much in order of how much my clan uses it and how strong it is against Town Online war bases so with no further ado, let's get on to number 5. And coming in at number 5 is the AQ walk which is usually paired up with the Goho component and as you can see right now he's lured the clan castle with a hog and putting the double poison on that drag loon combination to knock it out pretty easily. So the AQ walk purpose guys is not only to clear the trash on the outside starting the cleaning process but also to deviate the hogs away from double giant bomb possibilities on the outer ring where the archer queen can reach. So uh, the Archer Queen is commencing her clearance of this trash on the outside right now and then after clearing a bit of trash we'll go commence on the defenses. As you can see there is some double giant bomb possibilities uh, around that area um, especially between the Whist Tower and Archer Tower and she will be clearing those defenses soon so the hogs don't ever have to go over there uh, because there's no more defenses on that side. The amount of healers you bring is depending on how many point defenses the Archer Queen will face during her AQ walk. So if there's more than two point defenses aiming at the Queen and that is the Archer Tower, Tesla, Expo or the Cannon then you'll need to bring the fourth healer but if there's splash damage like the Mortar or the Whiz Tower along the way um, and another point defense then the three healers will be fine. So you really can find more than two point defenses any along the AQ walk where she's going to be pathing to and um, accommodate the healers from there. So now that the AQ walk is underway, now you can commence your Goho component and that's the kill squad there with the wizards. So the golem and the wizards are funneling in to path their way towards the Arch Queen. So you need to knock out the Arch Queen, especially in the Hog Rider attacks and try to trip any double giant bombs along the way with the golems um, upon your entry. So. Uh, so the Archer Queen is commencing still on the eastern side and the Goho uh, kill squad um, is going into the core. Kill the Queen and that's really good setup. The Clan Castle is down, the Arch Queen enemy is down and now the, um, the Hogs can commence coming in from um, wherever he is needed. So as you can see Brobin Champ has come from the western side knocking out this expo in the core and there's really only southern defenses left and the Arch Queen will come and help with that. So it's a really good raid at the moment. There's only a few defenses left and uh, with the AQ walk you need less hog riders obviously and uh, that is all she wrote for this space and a really good attack um, by Brovin Champ to achieve the AQ walk with the Doho. So hope you guys enjoyed number five and let me know in the comments below if you use this attack strategy often and how you go with it. So coming in at number four is the max attack which is pretty much an advanced version of the Go Lava Loon or as the experts would say just the Lava Loon and as you can see the standard uh, lure with the clan castle the Drangaloon combinations can be knocked out with uh, the handy poison spells and especially with the double poison spells. So as you can see the max attack is using the four earthquake spells to open the base up so you can get exposed to at least two air defenses and uh, it's really handy if the two air defenses are near the Arch Queen because as usual you need to knock out the two air defenses at minimum Arch Queen and obviously the Clan Castle troops before you can send in your La Loon component of the raid. And as you can see, he, you would see that he has brought a heal spell and that is for the Barbarian King. And you wonder why, why the Barbarian King? Well, it's not really for the Barbarian King, it's actually for the Barbarians um, to heal them, which gives you a little bit more tankage um, so that the defenses are aiming on those Barbarians uh, instead of your Arch Queen or your La Loon type of the raid. So. Unfortunately the Barbarian King did deviate away from the heal spell but that's fine it seems like he's doing really well anyways. So now there's the Laloon component of the raid come in. Once the 
Arch Queen enemy is down, the clan castle down, and the two air defenses. And he's doing the widespread with the, the lava hounds so they can soak up all the air mines and air bombs so the balloons can come over the top and get unaffected. So, um, as you can see, there's he's doing like a surgical deployment on these uh, loons while the defense is distracted into the center and distracted on the lava hounds as well. So, really good attack. Um, I wouldn't recommend max attack if you have less than level 15 Arch Queen and Barbarian King uh, because uh, once you get those earthquake spells in, you really need to get those two air defenses. And if your heroes aren't strong enough to get deeper into the base, then you're not going to be as effective. Coming in at number three is the Go Vaho, and uh, you're looking for bases that have double giant bombs near the Arch Queen and are centralized um, so you can get the Valkyries into the core and shred up that core, especially if it's condensed uh, with buildings and defenses and giant bombs. So they're, because of their HP, you can heal through giant bombs and that is why you would use them instead of the hogs because they're more flim flimsy than hogs, especially if you have to get them to the core. So as you can see, the standard funnel and the drag dragons come out and the poison spells are going down and the classic funnel with the golems and the wizards to lure the heroes in there um, pretty much the kill squad to knock out that arch queen straight up and he's going to utilize some jump spells to get into those components where there's uh, possibilities of giant bombs uh, to trip them and shred up the core especially with these tethers popping up uh, surprisingly for him so the jump spells are really handy to get in there and uh, to not only knock out that component but there he's got a jump spell for the second component or I think he's actually using the um, the same jump spell but um, he'll be able to knock out that town hall those Teslas expo and trip any giant bombs in the second compartment and while under heal and the Valkyries are quite tough um, and do last a lot longer than the hogs so as you can see the hogs are surgically deploying on the outside while the defenses are distracted in the core where the BK is and the Valkyries and uh, that's all she wrote for this base pretty much. You can really tell that this base uh, is going to get smashed for a 3 star um, once those defenses are shooting in and the hogs are sniping the defenses on the outside. So there is a Go Velo version if the air defenses are centralized. Um, you want to use the Go Velo instead, replace the hogs with loons, um, knock out those air defenses in the core and then snipe the uh, defenses on the outside with the hogs like so. So there we go guys, so that's a pretty awesome raid so far. Um, we've got plenty of hogs and uh, pretty much the heroes to be able to knock out the rest of the base. So um, let me know if you also use the Go Vaho or the Go Valo. Coming in at number two is the standard Go Lava Loon attack, or experts would say La Loon, and the prerequisites of this attack is to also knock out the two air defenses, clan castle troops, and the defense arch queen. So, quite easy right here with the Brovin Champ attack. He's got the two golems coming in, and he's got the jump spell to access those two compartments where those air defenses are, and the heroes will come and help with the wizards to knock them out. So the Arch Queen has jumped over the wall, the defense Arch Queen, and the BK should be able to knock her out, especially when he ranges his ability. And those air defenses are nearly going to be knocked out by the Arch Queen and the wizards, and um, the BK finished off the second air defense. Now the Arch Queen clan castle and the Arch Queen has been knocked out. Now the Lava Loon component of the raid can come in and knock out the air defenses and the outside defenses uh, to make it a total three star for the go lava loon attack so it's a really good setup as long as you got those prerequisites before you send in those lava hound components of the raid then you should be able to smash the base and make sure you spread those uh, lava hounds coming in um, don't ha have two coming in from the same direction uh, so you can soak as many air bombs and air mines to protect your loons as possible. The more loons you have at the end, the more uh, defenses that are going to go down more quicker and also help with the clearing 
um, of the outside. So there we go, pretty awesome raid by Brovin Champ. Um, he's got some lava pups burst from the lava hounds to help clear with the remaining trash and uh, pretty strong attack the go lava loon for number two. So the number one attack, as you guess it, is the Goho. It's one of the versatile attack strategies of the Town Hall 9 region. And Goho is pretty much be able to use on any base. And there's always a way to Goho a base. Just got to find a plan to do so. So that's why I put Goho as number one. It is used the most in my clan. And some wars that we just use Goho and it's just full of Goho attacks. It does get boring sometimes, but it is quite reliable, especially if you know uh, the how to actually use it. And um, you got to kill the Arch Queen as normal, Clan Castle troops, and if you can trip any double giant bombs on the way in, that is perfect. Otherwise, um, surgical goho and look at the pathing of the hogs between the defenses, um, and you should be able to be able to trip a few giant bomb sets. Um, one at a time instead of uh, two at the same time. So as you can see the surgical goho uh, does help um, knocking out the defenses uh, simultaneously and the heal spells are really good to uh, keep those hogs alive and uh, you've got to preempt where they're going to path so you want to heal in front of the hogs not right on top otherwise they'll just run out of it and um, which means you'll waste out uh, waste that heal uh, that heal spell so as you can see, the heal spell has kept alive. He's got one heal spell left for the southern corner, and there's only trash left. And he's got wizards and two archers to help at the end to clear that trash so he doesn't run out of time. And it is a really quick attack. I reckon Gohos are one of the quickest attacks you can do if you execute it right, and especially have heaps of hogs at the end to clear the trash. So it's a really good idea to have uh, one or two wizards to help clear the trash at the end just in case you lose a lot of hogs and uh, they don't aren't able to help you clear the trash. So they're the top five guys. Let me know what is your favorite attack. If you would reorder those attack strategies, what would you do in the comments below? And let's go ahead with the question time featured comments from last episode. We have Lal the Clamsy one, uh, Ken Patanum, Elizabeth Wolfie, and they were answering what time they would like me to stream on camcord uh, because I will be streaming very shortly and I wanted to know the time and day uh, would prefer people to watch my stream so if you don't know my camcord stream link I'll put in the comments or I'm sorry the description below and you can uh, subscribe to that uh, so you'll know when I'm on camcord for the very first time so let's go ahead with the question time though question time for this episode is if you could make a new spell in Clash of Clans what would it do? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys next episode. Later guys.